Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, good morning and welcome back um, to another installment of Angling and Anxiety. Uh, again, another little sharking adventure. I promise you they will end soon. Um, <laughs> I just love the sharks. I love them. Um, I've got a, someone pointed out a good point here to me uh, to me yesterday. They said uh, I asked, "What should I go and do? Like, what do you want to see me do?" So I'm some bait fishing. I said, "Well, I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to go and have a go." And they said, "It ain't about being good at it. It's about going and have a go." Um, and you know what? Sometimes I forget that. I run all around the country trying to get the maddest fishing done and trying to really put the channel on the map. Um, sometimes people just want to see simple stuff, um, and I'll be will be doing a lot more simple stuff. Vigilant is going in for a revamp, uh, another revamp. I wasn't a seller, I'm a bit attached to her to be honest with you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the back off, uh, cut the front off, sorry, so cut the cabin back so I turn it into a cuddy. So at the minute, just looking at her now, um, she's still perfectly able of going out to sea, but I'm gonna focus on getting her to a cuddy version again. I'm gonna do a lot more beach fishing. Um, I'm going to try and keep her into a state where I can actually take her out still. Do you know what I mean? So sort of renovate it, but keep it drivable. Um, which is going to be quite hard because I want to cut it. But we'll see how it goes either way. Um, but yeah, getting out of the guy, Steve. Steve uh, Whitehead's boat today. Salty Steve. Um, I'm going to go and chase some freshers, fingers crossed. I've got a guy with me called Ollie. Never been sea fishing, never been on a boat. Um, and he's actually a carp angler. But uh, uh, he, he's shown a bit of interest, so I said to him, "Come on, let's go out and let's go and do it." So between us, we've got the boat. Um, should be all right. We've got a very long day. It's actually half past one in the morning. And I want to bed at ten o'clock, but half ten, so I've had probably three hours sleep. Whatever the maths are. Um, but yeah, hopefully get a few fish out. I bought some tote rods with me as well. I've got some mackerel as well, just in case. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed. Let's get down there. Let's Go and try and catch some sharks, man. Right, Pete, we're on a boat. Go and have a look at this for a bit, Kit. Got outriggers up here. Which you can't see. Down here. Some snacks and that. Fluffy big bed. There's my old reel. Some more reels up here. Ollie's up here, never done a drop of uh, any seawater fishing at all. So you see water fishing, sea fishing, shark fishing, none of that, so. Yeah, but what's a boat, man? It's four o'clock in the morning. And we're about to get ourselves out there. Lovely.
lot of money for the plate tank over there. Just had an absolutely screaming run. <laughs> it was a tope. Can't even believe it. Honestly, it peeled, fully peeled off. It was a tope, so yeah, it could be one of them days, but we're getting back out again. We'll see what happens. Getting back out there. Shocking. Got a tope without it, nothing on it. Thank you, Nothing. Unbelievable. Poor old Ollie was in bed, he just woke up. Shocking. It's always a bonus. Lovely chum slipping on. Got a little seagull here, guys. Got a bit of fishing line hanging from him. Can't quite see him. I'm just going to go and try and rescue him. Captain Steve up there. See, see the fish line hanging off him. <laughs> this is why you got to leave your fishing line on the wooden table. Poor old boy. Took me to hold it open. If you can't watch out that shot. Can you just pull on that line, gently, Danny? Cut it off right low. Cut it off low. That's all we can do, isn't it? Right, right in there, I know. What have we got to cut it? Um, um, your side snips. Hold on the table. Yeah. Bless it. Which one? It's the blues or the. Yeah, them ones will do it. Just go down in the mouth as low as you can get. Hang on, see if I can feel it. Nah, it's right down there. Swallowed it, ain't it? Yeah. It's there though, isn't it? No, nah, that's... The other? No. No, that's just a bit short. Oh, no. Two chances. Two chances. <laughs> there you go. Off he goes. Good day or a day. Flattened off nice out here now, people. Just chilling with the rods out. The sun's shining bright. It's bloody lovely. All these absolute sound over there. Bless him. Thank for everyone this life, I tell you. Yeah, we've got one in close, one out. Quite far. We have seen one in the distance, well, they see one in the distance. So, fingers crossed. Can't win them all. To be fair, I'd be pretty jammy if I did manage one, but never say never. I had a little bass, 38 centimetres on the feathers. So it's a good bit of spool. Yeah, just out here. Watching him. Just chilling in the cabin. It's just in it. Got a little bed on everything. Very quiet, very quiet. That's got to be in it to win it. I've never feel like I'm living a dream. <coughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
There's an aquarium. Tires prone up. So I feel like the bangle of the edges at the minute. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. One of them things. We even thought about getting the outrigger out and lowering them down there, but yeah, Ollie's got the right idea. <laughs> Sounder. Just keep them going, keep fishing on. I've still got hours left, so keep plugging on, plugging away. This is my tote rod, I've got a live Mackie on here at the minute. Just fishing it on the bottom. Yeah, beautiful day. The gulls are out. Really, really nice weather. Flat as well. Which is tit, as they say. Nice summer slip down. Give a little shake every now and again. Another little added trick, a little bottle of oil on the side, a little squirt. So, yeah, doing everything right, just a matter of. Uh, Hit them open really. Not a lot else we can do. See what's well, hot, bloody hot. I've got to take one of my 17 jumpers off. 12 hours in there, guys. I'm so tired. Oh. <laughs> Super tired, man. Ollie's working on. He's out there now. Yeah, super tired, no takes, quiet really. Um, it is what it is, isn't it? Shark fishing, man. Can't win them all. But we've still got a good, a good couple of hours left, so might get one at the end. You never know your luck. Doing everything right, chumming hard. Boats are out there. Um, various depths. One at the back of the deepest, coming in a bit closer, so it's shallower. One next to the boat, quite shallow. Nothing. It is what it is, isn't it? it is what it is. Fingers crossed and all that. Things are sharp fishing, they come out of nowhere. It's like you're sitting there thinking, oh, this is a waste of time, and then boom, out of nowhere. So we'll see. Oh, these are the Mackie rod. Hopefully, got a fish. The fish on? Don't look like it, does it? Must have come off. Sometimes they do swim towards you, though. Scad. You ain't blanked. <laughs> right guys, that's a wrap. No sharks today. Had a tote this morning, like you're saying. Well, you wouldn't have seen it actually, but yeah, I had a tote this morning on the 80 class rod. Just reeled it in. <laughs> um, can't win them all. You cannot win them all. I've had a good run this year. Um, oh, I've got a couple more shark trips planned. But I'm going to start doing a bit of other, other fishing and stuff, keep everyone happy because I've just been obsessed with sharks. Still got loads of rods, mate. I'm going to take them back to the harbour and release them. But yeah, unless in the next 30 seconds one of them balloons goes, game over. Cheers for watching again. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I will be back again next week. So happy days, everyone. Spot on. Thank you for watching. Take care.